What's going on everybody, Jay Lawson here and I am back with another video. Um, this time we're doing another arithmetic reasoning problem. And uh, before we get started, if you do enjoy these videos and want to see more math problems, be sure to click that like button and subscribe. Um, again, I was uh, looking through some different uh, practice ASVAB exams and going over some of the problems that I see uh, coming up over and over. And a lot of times they do um, a lot of real life world situation problems like uh, with paying rent and things like that. So I wanted to get one of those in for you and uh, pick a problem that really uh, makes a lot of sense with our day to day activities so we can see how it, uh, you know, actually relates to like what we normally do on a daily basis. Um, so let's jump right into this problem. And it is an arithmetic reasoning problem. You're going to see on a lot of entrance type math exams and also the ASVAB exam. So I want you guys to be able to answer these type of problems. Um, this one is called the increasing cost of rent. Which, as everybody knows, uh, you know, the price of rent always does go up. So it's very applicable to like our daily activities and things like that. Um, because as your rent goes up, you want to make sure your income goes up by that same percentage. So. Knowing the, how to solve a problem like this will definitely help you in your day to day activities with budgeting, etc. Uh, but let's look at this question. It says Michelle and Dan used to pay eight hundred dollars a month for rent and they moved to a bigger place and are now paying one thousand dollars a month for rent. By what percentage did their rent increase? So we see the four choices there. We have 15, 20, 25, and 29.5. And uh, if you'd like, you can go ahead and pause the video now and try to answer it on your own. And I will be back with the answer right afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and answer this question. Um, so what we want to do is we have a multiple choice, which that's good. So we can actually check the problem at the end against those answers when we come up with an answer. A lot of times when you have fill in the blank, you don't have that luxury. But with these, you can pretty much uh, answer the question and then move on pretty much knowing that you got it right. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So when we have a problem like this, there's two numbers that stick out, right? 800 and 1,000. The one that really you want to pay more attention to is the 800. That's the value that they're actually paying in rent before. Um, so if we have an increase in rent to 1,000, it's going to be based on that value from before um, because that's what they were paying. So what you want to do is ask yourself a couple of questions. First, you want to ask yourself, um, by how much did their rent increase? And... Then you also what you want to do is when you ask yourself by how much did the value increase, um, all you have to do to solve this and figure out what percentage of the rent increase um, uh, occurred. All you have to do is divide this value um, into the previous rent amount. And what will happen is that'll get you the actual increase. So. We ask ourselves by how much did this rent increase? OK, from eight hundred to a thousand dollars, it went to it increased by two hundred dollars. So they're paying two hundred dollars more a month. Now, what a lot of people will do is accidentally divide the two hundred into the one thousand or they will take the eight hundred and divide it into a thousand or something like that to try to get the percentage. But that's not that's going to get you on the wrong track to the answer. And there's always in the multiple choice, there's always going to be an answer out there that uh, makes sense with the wrong move. So if you do the wrong uh, steps, there's going to be that choice is going to be available for you. Um, so you want to make sure you do it properly. So if you're paying eight hundred dollars a month and your rent increased by two hundred, you need to divide the two hundred into eight hundred, which is what you used to pay to find out what it increased by. Um, because it, it, it increased by a certain amount from the old amount to the new amount. So what we would do is we would divide 200 into 800. And what that will uh, give us as an answer is one fourth or 0.25, which is 25 percent. So your rent going from 800 to 1000 increased by 200 out of 800 which is 25% of the value of the 800. 
And so you see, like if you look at the choices, choice C would be the answer, obviously. But see, they have choice B as an answer, just in case you would have accidentally divided it into the thousand. And they also have, uh, you'll also see choices like D where they have just a random partial uh, number, like a 29.5 that seems really specific. Like if you didn't know, you might pick that one thinking that it's so specific that that must be the answer. But always be aware that that's not, uh, that's a tactic that is used on a lot of these multiple choice exams. So to check, 25%, we ask ourselves, uh, if our rent went up by $200, is 25% of 800, 200. And yes, it is because one fourth of 800 is 200. So we know that that is the correct answer. Um, I hope you enjoyed this explanation. Please be sure to click like and subscribe. Um, if you have any specific types of questions you want answered, you can always uh, uh, message me or leave a comment below. Um, just remember to always aim at legendary so you can land in success. I'm out.